Okay, now let's proceed with the program. Our program starts with defining an array of size 20. Then there is n variable to know how many numbers to process. i as a looping variable, x to hold largest number and p to hold index of a largest number. So, so many variables to define, all integers because it's an array of integers and all the looping variables also will be integers. Then first step will be to input how many numbers to process, that is how many numbers to input. So we'll input n, we have n variable input, suppose n was input as 5, so we'll be processing only 0 to n minus 1 that is 0 to 4 numbers, that is total 5 numbers. Then we'll input those numbers in the array by using a for loop i equal to 0 to i less than n. So I will take value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this kind of will input A0 to A4 numbers. Take an example, the numbers input are 7, then let's say 5, then 10, then let's say 15, and let's say 12. Now we have to find out largest number in those values. As we discussed in the previous session, how to find the largest number. Here we have defined a variable x that will hold largest number p to hold index. We'll have i variable as an index variable to go through the array. Okay, let's see the logic. Let's start from here. First, we store the zeroth number aside as a0, that is 7. Then we store p equal to 0 in the next step. Then the for loop starts with i equal to 1. In the first step, it checks is a1 greater than x. a1 greater than x is false. So if doesn't work, i plus plus goes to 2. For loop condition is true, so it gets inside and checks for is a2 greater than x. Since a2 greater than x is 2, it stores a2 in x and also 2 in p. So it stores 2 in p. Then i becomes 3 if for condition is true. If condition is checked, a3 greater than x is again true since it is 15. So a3 that is 15 stored in x and p gets value of i that is 3. Then i becomes 4. Your condition is true. It checks for is a4 greater than x, a4 is 12, it is not greater than x. So if skips, i goes to 5, this time the for loop condition is false and the loop stops. In that process, we got largest number 15 and its index 3 aside. Those two values now we have to print as largest number and index. That will do with the common printf command. So after this loop is finished, we'll add two more statements, two printf commands to print x and p. So after loop is finished, I will go for two printers. First printer prints me largest number is equal to x that is 15 and index is equal to p that is 3. And here the program terminates. Thank you.